All right. This character right here is what we're going to be working with. What I am going to be working with to show you how to do it. Excuse me. This is a character I just whipped up in about... Well, how long did it take me? About two hours. And... As you can see, she has excellent edge flow. Which will make this a lot easier. Okay, at bare minimum, you must have something to work with, such as a face. A, a head would be better, would uh, be better, and uh, a fully posable character, with the exception of the face, would be phenomenal because then you'd be finished. You get the sense of accomplishment of finishing something in Blender. 3D, an open source 3D program. I went to McDonald's when I finished my first fully posable character. <coughs> that was a good dinner. So, this is the steps I take for rigging a face are as follows. I get the jaw to open, I get the eyes to move, I get the eyebrows to move, then I get the lips to move. So, the jaw is already taken care of. Now, the reason I did this in advance is because this should be a no-brainer. But if you must know, all I did was... <coughs> what I did... If you know how the bone heating works, what I did is I just created these three bones right here. Neck, head, jaw geo. And I put this bone above the lip, on the upper lip. And what these bones right here, underneath her eyes and above her, uh, right beneath her nose, what they do, because of the bone heating, they actually save the vertices, as you can see, get some real extreme yeah all these vertices right here would have been taken over by the jaw geo bone if they weren't there and that's how bone heating works and it's pretty it's a pretty neat concept I love it so but you'll never actually use these bones even though they look like a good facial control they're not so eyes let's work with the eyes We're going to use bones. And, oh, another, another thing. The reason I used a bone for the jaw instead of a shape key is because you should never use a shape key for something that requires rotation. And a jaw opening is definitely something that requires rotation. So anyway, back to the eyes. Now the eyes, they rotate. So we need bones. So, grab your character's eye. I'm going to grab my character's eye. Shift S, cursor to selection. I'm going to go into my armature's edit mode. I'm going to go to the tip of either bone in the armature, and extrude out, and clear the parent of the new bones. Oh, and this is a nifty feature in Blender 2.46. This is the official Blender 2.46. Is that not only when you, in the bones edit mode, when you have X axis mirror on, not only can you rotate, move it, and scale it together, you can also create child parent relationships. So. If I have this bone right here, I hit Alt P, clear parent, it does it on the other side. And that is cool. So with the bone selected, hit Shift S, selection the cursor. Go to your top view, hit the period key for center curse um, 
cursor pivot point, excuse me, and rotate 90 degrees. And scale it. What the? Okay. And scale it in. Well, it actually doesn't matter whether the tip of the bone is outside or inside the eye. I'm going to put it inside the eye. Now, here's the best part. I highly suggest that you make your eyes um, a separate object because then you can just parent the eyes to the bone instead of creating a vertex group for them and have the eye a part of the same mesh. So, I'm going now we can parent these eyes to the new bones. And before we do that, so let's go ahead and name the new bones and turn deform off on both of them. And let's see, call the left one i.l and the right one i.r. Okay, um, we're just going to parent these eye objects to the bones and then this will be the conclusion of this part of this tutorial. So grab the eye object, grab the bone, control P, bone. Do the same to the other side, control P, bone. And go ahead and, um, well, we're going to add a copy rotation constraint from the le left eye to the right eye. So grab the left eye bone to the right eye bone. Control alt c copy rotation. And there you go. So, that's that concludes this part of this tutorial, of this face rigging tutorial. We'll complete the eyes in the next tutorial. And, uh, Guess I'll see you then.